Hello fellow Xperia owners, this is Shem2409 and today I'm going to show you the 10 things you can do with your Xperia Z after you successfully rooted it. So, as safety always comes first, I would suggest installing the Avast antivirus. The reason is, so far I think it's the only antivirus that you can install on the root of your device. So if you go to the Avast antivirus app, then go into anti-theft you'll find that you have an advanced installation mode which will make it hard reset proof and you can choose to install it under a custom name so no one will be able to find it and you will always be able to track your device in the event that you lose it so i would highly recommend installing that app as the first one okay let's move on second thing on my list is a custom recovery so of course once you've rooted your device you would want to install some mods. So to do that I would recommend using custom recovery called TWRP. Okay, unknown resources, yes. So let's have a look. The link to everything you'll need is down below. So you can find everything in the video description. The way you install the recovery, you can just download an APK from XDA forums, then just press install recovery. And here we go. It's all done. So now you can just press reboot recovery and it will take you to your recovery. All right. Let's just wait a little bit. So as you can see, it's as as easy as two clicks and you have a custom recovery installed on your phone. So now we can get to installing custom mods. The one thing I want to note here is that before you start installing any modifications to your phone it's always good to do a backup just in case something went wrong. So all you need to do is just swipe and, and you'll get a backup from Tinwin recovery project that I found to our device. So one thing about it, that I hate about the stock UI is the great notification and navigation bars. Fortunately, there's a way of changing that. Unfortunately, with the new update to 10.1.8.1.434, uh, it doesn't work. And I found a way around it. So first, you need to install the black, black bars that I found on the link. And at the same time, you need to install a different size of the navigation icons, which I also wanted to do. So if you do both, then you'll get it to work. So let me just show you. I'll install the black bars. Okay. And then I also want to install a different size of the soft keys, because I think the stock ones are too big. So I'm going to choose size 32. So... Okay, now I'm going to reboot, reboot the system and see if it works. Okay, so as you can see, when I did both at the same times, I got a black status and notification bar and also the smaller keys on the, on the navigation bar, which I really like because the stock ones are just taking too much space. Just bear in mind that you have to do two at the same time. If you just flash the black stock and notification bar, you will notice that both will disappear in the newest version of the system. I don't know why that happens, but even if they do disappear, then you can just go to your recovery and just install this, the, a different size of the icons from a link below the video. And when you flash that over the, the other mode, you will see that it works. Okay, so the next thing on my list are the custom themes. So as you know, the Sony comes with some themes. And they're nice, but there's a way to make them more personalized or change them. The way to do that is to follow to the link below the video and download the themes that are on there. Then download an app called Root Browser Lite, which is free on the Play Store. And find the themes on your storage. And then there's so far there's three different ones that that you can find on XDA developers forum and I really like the CS Flow Bright. So what you have to do is just choose any one you like, select it, 
paste copy and then go into your root storage go into system app and you have to paste it here then you just paste here and it asks if you want to replace it so press yes and this way you'll get a new theme okay so now you have to reboot your device and when it's finished booting you should have it in on the list after the device is finished booting up just go to your themes and the green as you can see the silk theme here is new and that's the one I changed so now if you look my lock screen is different and also the theme has changed and if you want to change any other colors on the list here you just have to copy and paste the way I showed you whichever one you like okay so the next thing on my list is the reboot option in the power menu which is not present there on the stock ROM I'm on a locked bootloader with a stock ROM so to do that all you have to get to is go to your recovery again reboot recovery so once you get to your recovery you localize the file that you downloaded from the link below then just install it here and you should get a re the reboot option in your power menu so let's see if it worked so now when you press the power button and go to power off you'll find a re reboot option in your shutdown menu cancel the next mod on my list is to improve the audio quality of your device this mod called pure x audio will also greatly improve the, the sound volume of your speaker and of, of your earpiece and of your headphones and it will add an srs mode to the music player so let's have a look all you need to do is go to your recovery again so after you've successfully downloaded the file from below just localize it in your recovery and install it see if it works so i'll see you after the device finishes booting up let's have a look so the device has finished booting up so how to check if the mod has been applied successfully so the first thing to do is to just try and play with the volume rocker you'll see the device is much louder you can also go to your walkman up then into settings and under sound enhancements you'll see purex psychorealism and that is an equalizer setting that's applied by purex audio mode and you'll also find a pure x high clarity so you can try them both out you'll also notice that your that your earpiece and the headphones are much louder so it's a good mod to apply to your device if you care about the sound quality the next thing you could do on your rooted xperia z is to install an app called greenify greenify is an app that lets you keep the running apps hibernated when you don't use them the app is very easy to use all you have to do is click on a plus here and you can up, add an app that's running in the background for example Dropbox and when you press the tick button here it will be greenified meaning it will be hibernated when you don't use it so it's a nice way of saving some battery and it's a good app to have on your phone okay so the last thing on my list is the titanium backup I'm sure you've heard of this app if you've rooted your phone before but if you haven't this is everyone's every rooted user best companion so it allows you to backup data from any app you have installed on your phone and easily restore it on any device so I would highly suggest you install that okay after you've gone through the guide if you run into any boot loops or any trouble make sure you have the backup in the beginning so you can restore your device and have all your data safely stored that's the key here because with this kind of mods you act as the beta tester here so if anything goes wrong just go into the forums and ask your ask your questions there or simply restore the backup 
thanks for watching and please subscribe to my channel. I'll have some more cool stuff coming out soon, so stay tuned. Thanks.